Hello gardeners. Today I will show you a super way to sow carrot seeds. Which you will defy nightly love. By choosing it you will forget what weeding and thinning are. But first you need to prepare the carrot seeds. A detailed video has already been released on my channel. Now I will briefly remind you that, as you can see, I took a small container, put two layers of toilet paper on the bottom, and put a cloth on top, leveled everything and poured it with water. Then I sowed the seeds in an even layer on a damp cloth, then I tightly tighten the container with a film, and make holes so that excess moisture evaporates. And there was no condensation. I put in a warm, dark place for germination. And already on the fourth day we get such beautiful seedlings. You can see that not all seeds have them, but the main thing is that all the seeds are saturated with moisture, but we will now plant these with small roots. And then we place the rest again in warm, dark for further germination. Then we need paper egg trays, they need to make such holes in them, it is very easy to do this with the help of ordinary scissors. But not cutting the bottom will not work. You just need to pierce and scroll with scissors. In this way we make holes very quickly. So that carrots grow easily in depth as they grow. You don't have to worry that it will grow in a curve, supposedly this cardboard on the sides will compress it, when we place these trays in a permanent place. Then, when watering, this paper will soften, and carrots will easily break it to the sides. Also a few more advantages of growing in egg trays. First, that the distance between the carrots will be the same, secondly, the moisture will be retained longer due to the cardboard. Thirdly, we will sow one germinated seed in each cell. And we will not need thinning, the last fourth plus is that there will be no weeds. Because under such a dense cardboard, no weed will break through. And since I will sow seeds in purchased soil, which is mixed one to one with sand and coconut substrate to increase its volume, and it was not so costly. As you can see, it is reddish from the coconut substrate. It is kneaded so that the soil is even looser and better retains moisture. And carrots love moisture very much. Soil as you saw, I poured from the center and leveled it on the sides. Be sure to thoroughly squeeze the soil into each cell, so the seeds will not sink deep when watering for carrot seeds should be sown superficially no deeper than half an inch. Which is exactly what I'm going to show you. But first you need to make a hole for sowing seeds. You can make holes as with a finger, and also take some kind of stick and make a hole in it. Then with tweezers, or an ordinary toothpick, since the seeds are wet, they will easily stick to the toothpick. It will be possible to do sowing, and you yourself will choose what is convenient for you. Place one germinated seed in each hole, and put the spine down, since the little white seedlings are the spine. And now you need to crush everything again with soil. Compact the soil so that there is good contact with the seeds. And carry out light watering. Directly in the places, or so to speak, in the rows where the seeds were sown. You do not need to wet all the cardboard, because then you will need to take these trays into the garden. Make sure that the soil in the trays does not dry out, for this you need to do frequent watering. To get fast growth or do it as in my case, I leave it all in the greenhouse to get quick shoots, and then, together with green sprouts, I will take it to the garden and plant them in the right place. And if there is no greenhouse, make a temporary greenhouse. If you like this video be sure to like it, don't forget to share it with your friends. And also subscribe to my channel so as not to miss the release of new videos. I wish you a good day. See you in the next video.